it's got nothing to do with it. You know, there are lots of nonsense coincidences that happen in life. Uh, some dates converge. Nothing at all. As I told you, the process of uh, this uh, transaction had started uh, a few weeks earlier. No one knew what government is going to be in Delhi or, uh, uh, you know, what would happen. So these are, sometimes events happen and uh, as human beings, we try and put connections and I've done the same thing myself. Uh, th so there's nothing wrong in it. But I can assure you there was no connection at all. Nothing at all. This is a commercial transaction, got nothing to do with uh, any change in government or this or that. The linearity will tell you it's not. The process started much earlier. A takeover filing with SEBI. Have you seen that document, the draft offer statement? It's such a complex document. Can it be put together in three days? Which lawyer in the world can put it together in three days? Clearly not. Clearly there was. There were a few weeks before that when uh, the conversations were coming around to uh, uh, Mr. Ambani saying that it, it was now, for reasons of his own corporate plan and corporate objectives, he needed to convert. As I said, my, for me it was a very easy decision, it wasn't a difficult decision at all. I don't think one should mince words there. Okay. We, we, were, we had a back to the wall. Okay. Um, uh, you know, we were in a debt trap. If there was a, this is a classical debt trap. Our market cap had come down to 400 crores. Our debt was 2,000 crores plus. So debt to market cap ratio of uh, five. Uh, we were not generating any cash surplus. So there was no question. There was no question. We wouldn't have survived. Oh, I believe they'll be fair. I, I believe okay. everyone will be fair because I believe that time is a great healer. I believe time brings a lot of perspective, uh, uh, correct perspective to issues. When you are too close to the event, you end up being uh, uh, misled or run over by emotion or, or take a slightly myopic view of things. Um, see, as far as employees are concerned, um, the fact is that uh, I believe we've run a very, very uh, close company. A lot of, lot of people have been very close. A lot of people have been with us for years, decades altogether. And that's been a strength of, uh, of the group. Would they feel disappointed? Yes, they would. Uh, do they have cause to be alarmed? I believe not at all because I believe that this company will be run on the principles of uh, very, very sound, uh, credible journalism. I, I believe there is absolutely no cause for anybody to worry. And I can as I said, in, in the two and a half years of my experience tells me that that will be the case. Uh, what a fine independent board has been created. I mean, people like uh, uh, Mr. Deepak Parit, people like Mr. Adil Zainul Bhai, these are very, uh, they, they are pedigreed individuals, pedigreed professionals who will ensure that, you know, standards are kept uh, at the highest possible level. So I think when people see this playing out, they will see that, uh, that this is a positive step. Emotionally, of course, people have a right to, uh, to, to feel bad. But you know, time, is, time also effaces a lot of realities. The fact is that if this hadn't been done, then a lot of them would have been facing a much more dire crisis than they are facing now. Uh, or than they believe they are facing now. They don't, they're not facing anything now. They just believe uh, because of the uh, shortage of time. No, no, I think some of it is apprehension, some of it is uh, giving in to the surround sound, the track record will speak for itself. And as I said, I have no doubt at all that there will be uh, uh, any such thing. And again, there's only been a week. I mean, how can we jump to conclusions in a week? So people who've had a reason to be, uh, uh, you know, feeling bad about this, they will certainly let probably some of that sentiment through. But I think that doesn't stand to any evidence or reason. No one is citing any evidence. These are still perceptions and opinions.